So how'd your day go? It was awesome. Uh, I heard you were you reunited. Oh, I thought you were filming. Uh, I am filming. Oh, you are filming? You like the camera? Yeah. Oh my god, someone's gonna see my camera. Alright, so what are we about to do here? We're gonna help Shoemaker get some bees taken care of. He was transporting them. He does not kill bees. He uses live removal, no pesticide. So he actually takes the whole colony by hand, smokes them out, calms them down, puts them in a box like this, transport them to a place where they can live the rest of their life. So lots of people will pay, you know, cheaper just to kill the bees because you can just go in there and spray them and kill them all. But we need bees. They pollinate flowers. They're important for Aren't the bees planet. still endangered or protected? It, bees are endangered. We, we need them. Without them, you can't have beautiful trees like this. You can have beautiful flowers. Put a little smoke on them before we get too close. It is possible to agitate one or two of them, but you know, there's thousands of them in there. It ain't like all of them are gonna come attack you, but. So what does the smoke do? I think it makes them think that a fire's coming. Right. <laughs> you know. So then they they vacate the area? They start they... drinking uh, in a wild, like in a wild hive when I'm removing them, they start drinking the honey. Right. So they think a fire's coming, they're gonna have to build up, you know, whatever they can and take off. Right. So they go on capping all the comb and start drinking the, huh. the nectar. And then they swarm and leave if you put too much smoke. So we use very little smoke once we got them, you know, huh. and work with them. Crazy. This one was up, uh, these guys lived on the ocean, so I gotta kinda give them, I gave them a new home. I gotta go take them somewhere pretty neat if it's gonna compare to their last house. Crazy, you could just move a colony like that, dude. He does it all by hand. It's pretty crazy. It doesn't kill anything. I mean, some you can't stop it from any of them dying because you got to use like power tools and different things to get them out. But you got to, you know, as careful as you can. And there's some bees that are just on guard. Like their their whole purpose is to make sure that you don't get into them. You know, one or two bees might just sting you because that's their job. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, usually, you want to just let the smoke kind of go past them on its own. Like get in the wind, you know, and let it blow past them. And now that makes them think that a fire is coming. You let it like blow past the entrance. There's not too much on them. And usually I like this to cover my my ears and my hair. Because they get stuck in there. They yeah, get in. go in your ears. Yeah. Yeah, that would suck. Eyes are good too, but you know, they get close. But your, eye, your eyelashes usually keep them from, I guess, stinging you in the eye. So, all right, we're gonna take that box off. Right, and the smokers, just any natural like leaf. I mean, there's probably a few leaves they might not like, but like palm leaves, oak leaves, pine needles, anything that burns, you can burn it and calm the bees. And then you don't want to have too much vibration. If that farm next door were to spray right now, like mm -hmm. chemicals or something, these guys would turn into killer bees crazy right so like if that chemical come across them right now it yeah. would anger them so much that we'd all have to run crazy you know? you don't want no angry bees there's no bees really in here i mean there's a few bees in we here. have to be careful kind of bee oh, why did i say that careful that's horrible so we still have a few rubber bands on them so you're taking the bands off? Yeah. Caught them a couple, a couple days ago, a couple nights ago. Let's see, last night, the night before last. Is this the one we were gonna leave it on? The small one? Yeah. Possibly, because I remember not oh, having a top. Take glasses, yeah. Can we take your small one? Yeah. See, they're already attaching it. Get them rubber bands stick. Yeah, it's really attached on the bottom one there. Connecting it to the frame. I think it's strong enough to hold. Okay. That is awesome. You want to come out here and do it? Yeah. Let's get this thing. We've got to have some smoke up in the air. Changing. 
Alright, so you gonna hold it? What we did is uh when I cut the the comb out of the wall, I put whatever has boot on it. You gotta keep this away from it. I put it inside of the frames. And the brood is where the baby bees are. The honeycomb is too heavy and too thick and, and a lot of times fragile where the honey is. And when you go to try to put it back in the frame, it falls and collapses and ends up everywhere. So if you want to take it off when you do the removals, you put that in something else and you put all the brood that you can into the box. Oh, hey. You got to get these rubber bands off. Who the heck is that? I don't know. Don't look over there, though. <laughs> Oh, that's Chandler's right. camera girl. Have to hold it in the middle. Okay. Got it? Yeah, hold it right there in the middle. A little bit more of this way. So you balance it. I got to pull on it. Ah. Oopsie, it popped. It popped on the back. It's stuck? No, it's not stuck. We're good. Yeah. I don't even know. Alright, put it on there. So you might get one or two angry bees. You can put it over there, you got it? So this has a few bees in it, but these are the fresh frames that I just put so they have somewhere to be. Depending on how big the hive is, you use different size so it's boxes. So just mesh with, what is that, paper behind it? No, this is actually like a plastic poly something, you know? Really cool. It's printed. It's porous? No, not at all. No? Nope. It's a hard plastic. And you could buy them in wax, and the wax ones are, I believe, better, but it's, uh, for what I do right now, this is the, the fastest and easiest, but it's one of the hardest things to get them to build on. Like with beekeeping, it, a lot of people throw these away. With the plastic foundation, they'll end up throwing them away, and they don't use them. That's pretty crazy. But if you can get them to build on it for a, for a honey box, like for your super, it's the best thing you can have for a backing on your honey cells, for like harvesting honey. But anyway, this stuff here can't be used for anything except the bees. Pretty like you cool. can well, you can melt this down and make beeswax out of it. A lot of people do for like candles and stuff like that. This one attached on this side. You know, I guess hold it, it on the outside and I'm gonna move it to you know to the corner, and then you'll grab it on the inside. All right. See, that's why I was just gonna cut them. I was gonna hold one side and have somebody cut it. So you guys get what's going on it. right I'm now, right? Bring it around and bring it over your wrist and just leave it there. This okay. is the original honeycomb that he found the bees with. So what he did was take that, put it on these frames, move them here, and now he's moving them to better, what are these called again? Uh, this? Uh -oh. It's a hive. Uh -oh. Angry bee hive. So he's moving them to a new hive with new, uh, not substrate. With a new new property, yeah, it's yeah, a new, new property, property. yeah, to, to grow a new hive at. So another company didn't come in and spray pesticides. Really cool, yeah. So instead of having a company come out and spray pesticides and killing all the bees that we need, he's humanely relocating them. It's way better. Give them a safe home. They're awesome. All right, all right. This one's covered in a lot of bees, so. It's gonna be real fun. You'll, you'll be all right. I'll, I'll, I'll be on. all right. Yeah. Uh, the puns. They yeah, never the end. puns. They never end. These are really cool. See if I pinch them or, or hurt them in any way, they'll like they're trying to protect the hive, so they'll go and grab me. It's gonna be tight. I'm gonna put it over your finger. Don't move. Oops. See, I should not let that go. Got it? Hold it in the middle. I got it. All right, I'm gonna take these other ones down now. I just don't want to be in front of hive. You want to back up real quick? Oops. Yeah. yeah. Back up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Back up like a couple feet right here. Yeah. Because I just don't want to be up here. That's when you mm -hmm. you know you get stung. Right? Don't go too close to that hive because then they'll start fighting. <laughs> too many rules. There's another hive. Careful box. balance. Yeah. I shook a box like two days ago. And I didn't know I had bees in it. Oh god. Like I went to move it, there was no bees in it. They moved into it. Oh man. Which is a good sign. In some way. Alright. That's what it was there for. Alright. Don't let it snap. 
So you have to do more of these frames. You have to take more bands. We did off some auto. earlier, and then we had to stop. I want to hold the next one. Look at look at them. They're holding on to each other. So cool. See, they're gonna end up building something right here uh -huh. to hold it. Right. So like, if I was to take a little tiny piece of comb, or like just, that one, you know, somewhere. Attached. Yeah, like this one's attached at least over here. Uh -huh. And on that side it's attached and down there it's attached. But it'll take them a lot. It takes, uh, they say, six pounds of honey to make one pound of wax. Uh -huh. Or six pounds of nectar. I don't know if it's nectar or honey. They're a little bit different, a lot of bit different. But Very cool. It's not attached right here. So you see it's a little bit, it moves. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So I kind of want to put something to hold it or leave this. But if this pops, you go in front of that, you go. You come to look at it, especially with being here in front of people. Mm -hmm. If that pops in there, they might sting somebody. So. They'll drag them out. They'll drag them right out the front of the hive. Yeah. See, that's still stuck over there on that corner. Oops. Yeah. All right. See that line on the wax? Yeah. With the built on it. I'm gonna try to lift that side. Wow. Usually, the old timers would use cotton. Like cotton strands? Cotton strings. Hey, Kelly. Take hey, cotton Kelly. string and they would tie them and they just wrap them. There's people walking up. I don't know if they're guests or what. Or... Don't let them come close to the bees. Yeah. Oh, Oops. Pulling a couple. Getting caught in this side, huh? Forgot about your hand being there. It's pretty crazy how comfortable I am right now letting these bees crawl all over us. So let's get this one back into the box. Let's see if we have another one, yeah. I think so. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I if wanna, I run, run. I want to hold the next one. It's pretty awesome. I'm not a beekeeper. This is the second time I've ever handled bees. The first time I was over by the food trailer for the outpost and he comes walking up with a tree branch and it's just a giant hive and a big ball on the branch and, and he swarm. snapped it off. A swarm of bees. Yeah, he, he just snapped it off the branch and he drove down to the next property. He's like, hey, can you help me out with this? We gotta go set it up. I was like, okay, I'd like, but this seems interesting. Well, Didn't get stung. He kept me from getting stung. Stung. And like the smells in there, that's because they just got back. She's not in there. Let's get this going. It's oh, crazy the sound. This one was going. This one that was going. Can you, can you hear this? So, I don't think the queen's in here, but I think because we. Oh, uh, you see him fanning? So, what are they fanning? Yeah, he's grabbing it. Does that mean that they're agitated the right now? Or? No, they're fanning the smell of the queen out of the box that we just put them in. Because I took them away from the box, had them up here, and then I put them back in. That's the hope. They think that they're on here and fanning the smell of the queen out to get everybody else to come follow me. Or the queen's on there, and I didn't know it. But most of she could be on there. this one is. Yeah, I need to put a little piece of, I think we left that one until they bring it all the way up. So you're not even gonna take this one off? Yeah. We'll see how it flows. So gotta be tagged. They went over the rubber band on this side. Yeah, and they went under the hive on this side, so it's not even hanging down on this side. See, they won't pop it until they don't need it. You know, like if it's holding up the hive, like as far as like a structure thing, they won't pop it. That'll stay there for a month. But the ones that they don't need, they'll drag out. So just don't blow on them, don't swat at them, and don't look at them in the eyes. You can see the little... So these are little larvas inside, huh? 
Yeah. Their little larvas inside of there. That's so cool. You didn't get this one off earlier because it was attached to the wall already. So what do you want to do? I got to scrape it. Scrape There's it. so many. Look at this. How many do you think is right here? There's probably yeah, there's 10 right here. There's easily We're going for this area. a thousand, a couple thousand. Yeah, count them. I never count them. I just take a picture and count them. That's crazy. Like, there's Comment below how many do you see? 10 right there. One so, be a little bit. He went back to the highway then. Got it. So the that tree right there has really good leaves for the smoking. Behind that red Careful, there's a lot of bugs. Yeah, it's probably like that. Oh, I'm blocking them. I hope. Crazy, I was just like with any other animal. It's just about understanding how they act and how they work, you know what I mean? Like so many people are so scared of bees. They just think that they're out to sting you. And like, First thing that happens when someone sees one bee, everyone freaks out. Oh, they, yeah, they freak out. As I believe bee, that as a, soon as a bee is around, people freak out. But I know? think that a bear holds its breath the whole time that it's in on a hive. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, the whole time it's going in on a. I lost a couple hives the other day to a bear. I wish I would have really? not let it happen, but if it happened, I would have rather have it, have it caught on camera. But Crazy. It ate my, one of this giant hive I had. Damn. But I didn't think there were any more bears, but there is, and there's a mama with cubs, so that means there's a daddy somewhere, okay. too. But yeah, tore up my beehive. It's not even a hive, it's just a big old colony on a tree that was like, yeah, that bear ate the whole thing. So there's still bears there. Now, when you, go, do right when you go get the hives to relocate them, are you wearing a suit to do that? 99.9% so, so what, when you're removing the hive from whatever you're removing it from and they're getting pissed off. They don't get too pissed. Huh? They don't get too pissed. No? They don't get too pissed? It all depends on how you approach them. Right. Like, like, when I remove them, it's like one wrong puff of smoke and mess up. really angry the other day, you know, I went in on them, removed them, put them in here, but they didn't sting me, they didn't attack me, they're agitated because of what I'm doing, but as long as you don't kill them right. while you're doing it, yeah. like if you take this thing and scrape it wrong when you're removing, you crush a bunch, that smell goes out, I think, and it's almost like... Was there a bee? Did one of you get stung? Because there's one that... I got stung like twice earlier. It might be from this one, because he, he's dead. Don't show them. Alright, I'm gonna try to get this off the wall. You want me to hold that one? It's on there, too. That one I'm gonna leave. We might, we're gonna leave these two, but if I get it off the wall, I can put a plastic one here. You know, and then we'll we'll so they won't, so they won't attach it to the wall, they'll keep it attached on the side and come down. But they don't like it when you too much with the comb. Like if you sat there poking the comb, eventually one's gonna sting you, you know? And that's kinda like what I'm doing with this. It's like I just made this! Check Bro! This one back up there. It's my front yard. Yeah. You guys gonna go check out the place? Watch out, keep blowing it. 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 Keep Alright, ready? Everybody's gonna walk away. We don't want any problems, B. Everyone walk away. Go so, look at the bee. Just to be off. Look at them in the eye. Made him angry. Gotta handle some bees. Really? That was my second time bee handling. That was the first for me. Sick. It's cool, right? Yeah, really cool. By the way, she's an alligator wrestler, snake handler. He catches really anything. He's a beekeeper, bee whisperer, really. Oh, mama called. Stay no. down.
speak. Oh, no, he, he was a little gun ho for that one. Mm -hmm. Let go down. See, trained. One <laughs> session. One session. Okay. 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 Okay.